Welcome to race number nine for the Walmart Super Speedway Series. We're at Bump Drafting Super Speedway under the lights. Here's the full qualifying results. Now we take you to trackside. So, just like uh, Ricky Raceway, this is our second race in a row that we've hosted under the lights. Daniel Bouchard, Aaron Carlson starting on the front row for tonight's race. The race is rookie. Uh, still making that mistake. The, re the truck race was pretty wild. They near three wide photo finish here's the race command drivers start your engines engines fired up here we go so field rolling off on the back straightaway the back of yeah the back straightaway it's a bit uh, curved Kind of like Chicago Land, it's got a back straightaway tri -oval. I know another Super Speedway that has that. Coke Zero Super Speedway has a back stretch tri -oval. So, same distance, same track, same everything, but under the lights. So, the car should go even more faster than usual. Maybe around 220, maybe. Base cars in, here we go. Green flags out, we're underway here at Bum Drafton Super Speedway. So our finish line's pretty close to turn one. Thirty-two to thirty-two Ryan Butcher giving the forty-eight a nice shove. Already pushing him way up front. Aaron Carlson battling Tony Green in the 42. Green will take third. Here goes Green to the inside. Already looking for the race lead. And he's got it. Looks like he'll lead the first. Maybe, maybe not. Here comes a nine. At the line. I think Tony Green got him. Yes, he did. By hundreds of a second. Now he'll have the lead. There goes Orius. There goes the two keys. Wow, the chameleon lead changes within a second. Chandler in the 36 to the bottom. Steve Lucker in the 34. Zach for Fitzwater in the 43. There goes the 98. Fitzwater goes to the middle. 221, so yep, around there. 220 miles an hour, so definitely a lot faster. Leading laps, once again, is important. Getting all those bonus points. Pitcher in the 31, there's the 30. Trey Wright in the 40, in third place. Lots of lead changes at a truck like this. There's always plenty of lead changes. Two laps in, currently on the third. No wreck yet. As long as they don't go five wide, I think they're alright. And here goes Trey right on the 40. Some drivers just want to lead a lap and bail. Get those bonus points. And oh, trouble, trouble, got a car spinning and no big wreck. Oh, got multiple cars in the air. And coming to the line, there'll be Trey Wright in the 40. Yellow flag is out. Yellow flag is out. And we'll take a look at the replay. With high speeds like this, you know they're going to flip. OJ oh, Jefferson and Joe Jefferson, they got into each other. So he's pushing on the left side there. 18 went down, however. But he ends up, so the 14 ends up going around in the 48, the 42, and the 93. All gets squashed. So Carson, Car Carl, yeah, both both the um, uh, front row starters went upside down. How oh, crazy how oh, things change so quick. Both these guys were running first and second. They started first and second, and they were thirtieth at the time. Tony Green didn't go fully over. They catch a lot of air though. Take a look at this again. And no trucks flip over yesterday, but tonight we had two go over right at the beginning of the race. 
So both drivers definitely out. Not so much, maybe the 42 as well. We'll see. So, well, big clouds, but can't see a thing. We'll take you back to the restart. So we got, uh, there you have it. A couple of these drivers stacked up on our yellow. The 13, the 20, the 38, and the 32. It's the same thing. Had to be a stack up. So straight right on the 40 in front, looking for his first win, career win. Carter Friesen in the 22 in second. Chris Kyle third. Jack Legacy fourth in the 30 car fifth. Five races left once this is complete. It's a pace car, pace, yeah, pace car goes in. Waiting on the green. Green flag is out. We're back underway. Oh, well, like I see, I believe he's the points leader. Let me do a quick check. No, it's Jack Lacassi. Jack Lacassi is the points leader. He leads it by 11 points over Carter Friesen in the 22. Who has yet to win a race. He is the only driver in a top 5 in points without a race victory. That could change tonight. As he goes for the race lead. Now where is Jack Legacy? He is... Oh wait, oh wait. No, he is in a 28. How did I get that mixed up? I don't know. I'm mixing this thing up, but... So that's the points leader currently running in ninth, second place. Just let a lap. That's five points closer to the front, and here comes a seven. Oh, and he almost got turned by Marcus Hitachi. Seven one, uh, Ricky Raceway, in a wild last lap. He is currently in fifth place, gained five spots after that victory, and here goes a six. Where is he in points? Currently 16th in points. Gained two spots. And he'll lead a lap. One more lap to the halfway point. Getting tight again. No contact. Oh, the 11 and the 36. What a save by the 11. Trey Wright also down on the apron. Trey Wright trying to pass. He could. He's allowed to. We don't have that uh, yellow line rule. Don't care for merging back up. Trey White, he really has to back it out. Oh, he's going to lose a ton of the ground. He's definitely going to need a caution to get back up. With all these lead changes, we just don't know who's going to win it. The 9 car leads that one. Here comes the 99, 98. Oh, trouble! Big trouble! Got a couple of cars going around. Big wreck. Just saw the 11 just go in it. So, second yellow of the night. Just got to the halfway point. They'll race it back to the line. Here comes the 28. They'll try to lead a lap. But Jay Jefferson and the 18 right behind him. Here they come, side by side. At the line, 28. Jack Lagasse will take it. Yellow flags out. Take a look at the replay. Hard hit it for the six. We just saw marks. Let us take a look. I probably may have yeah gone to Zachary Fitzwater, but he ends up getting wrecked instead. Oh wow, that was a real hard hit, head on. And then the two gets one big shot on the driver's side. Body eleven of Mitchell Collins, who nearly wrecked the last lap. So big break for the forty. It just just like the first wreck. Fitzwater goes down, but a six car, and but the pusher ends up going, get, getting taken out. And in this case, it's the six of Marcus Atachi. Fitzwater had an opening. He didn't hit anyone, but a six hit the one, and there was more wrecks up ahead. One hit by the six and the two, the eleven, the twenty-four, and the five. Oh, it looks like Fitzwater did wreck, but he gets less damage. Fitzwater did hit someone actually, so but pretty very very similar. 
He got to the 39, 39 saves it, but then hooked the 31, collects the 200 cars, and then they go around. And that was 7, big contact, and the 1, so he won't go for 2 in a row, it doesn't look like it. Before he able to avoid it, looks like. Yep. And the 11, did he go all the way down to the inside wall? And just touched it. Let's run away with him. Take a look at this one more time. 218 miles an hour. Then when he slowed down, he was already was still up to 200 miles an hour and just slams into the two car. And he backs it in. That's actually guard route he backs it in. So much softer hit than hitting the concrete. So as you're sucking you all the night, we'll take you back to the restart. So lights are out, getting ready for the restart. 20 cars remaining. Nobody a lap down that's still on the racetrack. Jack Lag is your race leader. Five to go when he take the green. Sorry about that. So Jack Lagsy, Jay Jefferson, Chris Kyle, the 30. Uh, Chapman, T. Chapman, uh, Carter Friesen, C. Larker, uh, Keith Hyder, is it Hyder? I don't know. Uh, Tim Randolph, Jacob Davison, Noodles, Mew, Johnson, Glenn D, Trey Wright. That's your top 15. Base cars in, here we go. Green flags out. Here we go. And there goes the 18. Jay Jefferson to the inside. Still looking for that first of the season. Jay Jefferson the 33rd in points. Second last to the 39 of Chris Kyle, who was running right behind him. The lowest score driver in points with the victory is Patrick Mew, who's currently 18th in points. Maybe if these two win, so they'll take it away. Here comes the 39. Big shove from the 34. Tim Randolph in the 88. Three wide, three wide. With this little cars, can they make it five laps? Coming to four to go. Here comes the 39. He'll lead the lap. Although no chance at a championship now. There's only... 11 drivers who have over a thousand points. There'll be a couple more soon. Crazy. Here comes Johnson in a 27. He wants to win. We've seen Andrew Johnson drive. He's been so consistent, but he can't find victory lane. But where is Andrew Johnson in points? He's only he's 10th in points. Yeah, I don't know about the championship, but still pretty good. Top 10 in points. We saw him in the Sportsman Series, missed the playoffs, most consistent driver, but with, he didn't get a win till Kansas, and Kansas is a playoff race. But then the Cup Series, thanks to the new rules, he was able to make it in by points. But still can't get a win. Still couldn't do it. Yeah, it was so close to the championship too. But here comes Jake Jefferson in the 18, gonna be two laps to go. As the 99 pushes him, but will he cover the bottom? He got another Monster Energy sponsored car, but in the Chevrolet, getting a big shot for the 28. You know, Jack Lex, he wants to win another race, he wants to extend that point. See, he wants this to be a very easy championship. Who doesn't want an easy championship? Get as many points as you can. Two to go as Chris Kyle gets a push from the 98. Things are heating up. Get ready. Get warm up that photo finish, Cameron. Might need it again. Even if we go in overtime. Been multiple cars switching lanes. The 99 just scraped the wall. So did the 30. Here comes the 34. He'll go to the front. But the 33 to the inside. White flag is out. No overtime. Here we go. Here comes Johnson on the inside. Can he hang on for one lap? Carter Friesen, he's second. Remember, he has not won a race. And he's second in points, second in the race. 
Trey right in the 40. Hello, mix up. Force him to slow down. Curly in third as he pushes the 22 to the front. To the outside, to the inside. Here comes the 40. He finished second at Ricky Raceway. But here comes 36. Can he make it? There he goes. Side by side. To the checkered flag. Who's it going to be? Trey Wright will win it. Here at Stump Grafton Super Speedway. A nice small comeback for the 40. Thanks to the yellow flag. Avoided the wreck. Got back in it and won the race. And this time, he's not the bridesmaid. No more. He's not, not this time. So, he could make a move at uh, Ricky Raceway, but he gets it done today here at Bump Drafton Super Speedway. Let's take a look at the full race results. So, Trey Wright, still pretty close finish, beats Chapman by three seventh, uh, three seventh, uh, three hundredths of a second, or thirty seventh of a hundred. I don't know, uh, maybe. Jay Jefferson, the third, the thirty fourth, Carter Friesen, that's a good point state for him. He finishes 5th, Patrick Mews 6th, Jack Legacy 7th, Steve Larker 8th, Andrew Johnson 9th, and the 33 car finishing 10th. 20 cars finish tonight's race, here's the rest of the race results, a wild one here once again at Swamp Draft and Super Speedway. Almost half the field did not finish the race. And another near photo finish, still pretty damn close finish. And so many lead changes, we just don't know who, who is going to win, pretty much anyone who's, who's in that pack could have won it easily don't count anyone out well, maybe we can count those guys out who are 7 20 seconds behind but they yeah they still do have a very slim chance of winning but you know so 15 cars were in that race pack at the end and they all finished within half a second to the leader so there you have it Trey Wright the race winner here's a full race results once again we'll now take you to victory lane